Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead. Hey. Explosions, fireworks, confetti coming down. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready for another exciting. Soon to be classic. Um, well, us cooking thing. Well, yeah, not, me cooking. It's, yeah, she's going to cook. It's all good. It's good. We're going to do some stuff, though, today mm -hmm. that will hopefully help you save some money, 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 money. Yep. And it's super convenient. Mm -hmm. And that is breakfast burritos. Yeah. This is, these are so delicious and uh, convenient because you can make them up in a mason jar and vacuum seal them, which I have not done this. I just did this right before we started, just honestly to make sure that it would fit in the jar. <laughs> Right. <laughs> um, but this is a great thing to take camping, to go RVing, long-term, uh, long exactly, yeah. long-term food storage. You can put this, vacuum seal this up, put this on your shelf, and it will last for a very long time. Um, and then it's just done. Or those of you moms that have to make a quick meal uh, in the morning, then this is, or even for lunch or dinner, honestly, we eat breakfast burritos all the time. So. Yep. And, well, the kids love them because they yeah. just go to the freezer and grab one. You microwave it for a minute and a half, and it's right. done. Right. Um, we are going to show you Thrive Life ingredients. Mm -hmm. However, you can substitute for fresh yep. or store-bought, and that's mm -hmm. not a big deal. Yep. Um, but, once again, the advantages here are so, I mean, you it's just huge. dump it in, put your water, water in, and cook it up. Mm -hmm. Then you, after you've cooked it up, you can put some, uh, put it on a tortilla with some cheese, and you're done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I make up these, and then I'm actually going to cook it up so you can see how it, what it looks like. And then I'm going to use um, some of our uh, farm ingredients. We've mm -hmm. got our fresh eggs from our chickens and some pork from our uh, piggies. Mm -hmm. And... Um, yeah. Yeah. Some tortillas and cheese and yeah. we'll use some of these ingredients as well in that because it's super, super convenient. It is. It really is. So, so you're going to start out with now, uh, you're just going to basically assemble, you know, it, that's what's mm -hmm. funny about the Thrive stuff mm -hmm. is, well, I know what I was wanting to say. I was wanting to say one of the cool things about breakfast burritos is it's whatever the heck you want to put in there. Yes. If you like things spicier, put some more jalapenos mm -hmm. in there, put in there mm -hmm. some chipotles, whatever floats your boat. Krista really likes mushrooms, and she put mushrooms in, which would normally be bad juju for us. <laughs> but I'm tolerating it because I love my wife. Yes, you do. Now, um, so what I'm going to do is I, will, I have our recipe and... You have the recipe in the description box? or It's been in the video. It's been playing. in the video, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but I will go ahead and reread those ingredients. If you do want this recipe uh, in book form, uh, it is in our cookbook. So, Which that is in a descriptive link down below. Yes. Now, what I'm going to do, it's funny because the recipe shows from the egg, from the really fine powdery stuff going down to the bulky stuff. I'm actually going to do it in reverse. I'm going to put the bulky stuff down first and then put the, the fine powder stuff on top. So that way it goes down into um, the, the big bulky stuff. So I'm going to start with a half a cup of sausage crumbles. And then I need my bell peppers. It shows on the recipe red bell peppers, but I don't have any right now. I really like these mixed bell peppers um, because it has red and green and they're super small pieces, yeah. which makes it great because then I don't have to chop anything. Uh, the red bell pepper pieces, oh, I, don't bring, I didn't bring it up. They're actually long strips like this, which are great for stir fries. Do you want to show them up close? I can. Let's do that. Because I wish you guys could smell this stuff. It's We we garden, and yes. we can, and mm -hmm. i got to tell you what, it smells identical to the fresh. Yep. Because it is fresh. Oh, yeah. It is fresh. Yep. So I need two-thirds cup. I got the wrong measuring cup. Uh, two-thirds cup of the mixed bell peppers. And again, this is... Um, you can put whatever you want in these things. If you don't like bell peppers, if you don't like the way don't they talk back there. to you, don't put them in there. It's not a problem. Nope. Just whatever floats your boat. Exactly. All right, so now we need two thirds cup of chopped onion. Oh yeah. 
Oh, it smells We so don't good. chop onions anymore, guys. Very, very, honestly, very rarely will there I chop onions. There are a few recipes that we still mm -hmm. will say, no, 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 the Thrive stuff is great, but we, mm -hmm. we really like the fresh yep. onions. If it's a certain kind of cut or whatever. Oh, okay. Heather, thank you very much. Oh, Heather, thank you. That's very kind of you. We appreciate that. So here's our half a cup of mushrooms, and these, show them, show them, show them. I will, I will. These are great pieces. Uh, that's a, kind of a small one here. It's a bigger one. Yeah. Look at this. The, and show them by the side angle. Yeah, yeah. there you go. See, it, they're nice, thick pieces, but listen to this. Here, I'll put it up to my microphone. Yep. They just snap. They're awesome. They're I love dried. them. Yeah. And if you want the pieces smaller, you just put them on a, on a uh, cookie sheet. Just Not a cookie up. sheet. Break them up. Cutting board, baby. Cutting board and just chop them up with yeah. a knife. And they, they cut really, really nicely. Mm -hmm. But for time's sake, I'm not going to do that right now. Right. And for those jumping on right now, um, you can substitute your ingredients mm -hmm. for fresh. Yep. Uh, and we love, we love breakfast burritos for the economy of it. Yes. Because if you think about it, you can still get an, uh, a dozen of eggs really cheap. Mm -hmm. You get some cheese, you get some whatever floats your boat, throw it in the uh, the uh, tortilla, mm -hmm. and you're you're talking like less than twenty five cents if you if you get good deals on stuff yeah. per burrito. These are great for those who have to work and they have to leave quickly. You take one out of the freezer, you pop it in the microwave, or if you don't use a microwave, you can throw it in the oven while you're getting ready for work. And then by the time you're done, ready to, ready to go, yeah, you're ready to go with breakfast. So. Uh, I got two tablespoons of the green chili peppers. Now oh, these they are, are so nice. These are just the regular chili peppers. They are not jalapenos. They're not spicy. They're not spicy. They're just got lo loads and loads of flavor. And you know, the thing about that is we never used to buy green chili peppers because, um, well, you don't want to waste anything. Right. And usually you don't use as much as you get. And so it's so nice that you just scoop it and scoop what you now need. we use them all the time. I Yeah, we do. We use them for... A lot of things. Uh, now I need one tablespoon of instant milk, and this is this is not a non-fat dry milk where it's huge big clumps. This is super a uh, fine powder. Mm -hmm. And then we need our egg powder, and I need three quarters of a cup of that. I'm gonna use this one. Uh oh, it says it's buffering. Uh oh. Yeah, it's showing over here. Claire, are you streaming again? <laughs> Buffering. Ugh. We're not dropping frames. It's in, I think it's in the YouTube thing. And then some other people are saying the live stream's working good today. I yeah, who knows? I Let's don't know, just, guys. We'll, we'll just keep, keep on going. Along um, so I put three quarters of a cup of eggs in there, and now egg I'm gonna powder. egg powder. Yes. Yep. Um, and then I will put uh, one tablespoon of our sasson. Sasson. It's got yes. some yummy flavors in there. There's all kinds of garlic. There's cumin. There's all kinds of mm -hmm. yumminess. Yep. And this is done. Just like that. Yep. And if you vacuum seal this, it will last you, I'm not going to give a time, but a very long time. Years. 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 Okay. Because all of these products, if you have them still in the can, sealed up, they will last 25 years. Uh, once you open them, the majority of the products will last a year. So, however, if you vacuum, vacuum seal, seal it, this, it's probably you exactly can kind of guess about you're going to lose a couple of years off of the you know the sealed product, but the sealed originally. But yeah, um, I don't know if it's actually playing anymore. It shows that it's playing on yours. Yeah. Huh. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, I see the spinning wheel over here, but... Is it the wheel of death? <laughs> no, it seems to be working. I apologize for you guys if you're, if the, if it's buffering. We don't really have control over that. No. I've got green lights from my software that we use, and it's showing that I'm not dropping frames, and then over there we're monitoring, and we can see it, so... Yeah, I'm watching on my iPad so yeah. that we can see what we're doing or what's going on. Right. 
All right, so now. Steve, yes, it's egg powder. Yes, it is egg powder. Egg powder. And I can read you the ingredients because it's just eggs. It's just eggs. Yeah, and if you ever want to know what um, is in the Thrive ingredients, every product that they carry it's has really a labeled. nutrition label yeah. uh, underneath the picture of their product. This has whole eggs, yolk, dried egg whites, and then glucose is removed for stability. Yeah. That's it. There is Weird. nothing else added to, to this. And I use this as part of Grace's food, as part of her diet. Yep, she eats through a G-tube. So yeah. these Thrive Life products are a godsend for us mm -hmm. because all we do is if it's already a powder, then you don't got to worry about it. You just right. cook, you know, you put it in, in liquefied, you know, uh, with milk and you just mix it up till it's a nice liquid. Yep. But if it's if it's something bigger and we want that for her diet, that's like a pieces kind of thing, then we'll grind them up in our um, our food milk. Our Vitamix, yeah. Vitamix, yeah. So then that that makes those things powder. So she can have chicken. She can have all kinds of stuff that she would not normally be able to have because she can't swallow properly. Right. The refried beans are a great thing. They grind up really, really nicely into a powder. Eyes to see says, I made your carrot cake. It's a keeper. All right. Yes, it really is. Well, thank you for that note. Okay. Now I need a bowl. And this is how we're going to make this, guys. I'm going to turn this on real quick. Get that warmed up. Get that warm. Yep. Get some butter. Butter from Calcutta. Yeah. <laughs> some butter. Get that heating Let's up. Let's see. Okay. Any questions? As she's rocking and rolling, we're going to do it the both ways, but yes. you'll see how fast this is. You won't believe it. Right. You saw how quick it was to... Um, Assemble it. Assemble this. That's all you really got to do is assemble it. And if you go camping or you live in an RV or you like to go RVing. Um, or gifts. Or gifts for this teacher is great. gifts. Um, you saw how fast that was. And if you want to assemble a lot of them, you just have a whole row of them and you yep. just plop, plop, plop. Done. Put a bow on it or something. Poof. A piece of rib, a piece of cloth underneath there. But yeah, seal that up. And that's going to take a bit. It is going to take a bit. It's going to so, take a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mix this together because this will take a few minutes to rehydrate before we cook it. So all I'm going to do is take this jar and pour it into a bowl. What's for dessert? Potato chip cookies? No. Ah, our potato chip cookies are awesome. No dessert today. And now I've got two cups of warm water here because I, the sausage crumble, I always like to use warm water for meats. It seems to rehydrate them much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in here. Can you hold that up to the close camera? Sure can. Right there. So that's all you got right there. You just, yep. the stuff goes in, you put mm -hmm. your water in it. I'm gonna let it sit, I'm yeah. gonna stir it up. Can I have one of the white spoons, please? You may. Thank you. And now, in terms of the consistency, you've got to be careful at this point because sometimes, depending on your ingredients, you may want them to be a little more hydrated or a little less hydrated. It really mm -hmm. depends on what you're cooking. Okay, Kelly Diggs. How long is the shelf life of most of the Thrive Foods? Most of them, the majority of them, are 25 years unopened. As long as we've been married. Yeah, actually, yeah. We could have bought this stuff then and still had it fresh today. Right. Yeah, and, and the thing about that is is that um, there are a few items that are that are less, like the turkey is less. Well, and I can tell you. What was the other one? Well, those are, um, here, I'll tell you. Wait, is it on here? I don't think they have it on the jar anymore. No. Well, okay, the turkey, the ham, and the pulled pork once you open them, they only last two weeks. I think yeah. they're seven years yeah. shelf life for yeah. these. But the majority of them, mm -hmm. I'd say even as much as 85 to 90% of the products that they sell are 25 years mm -hmm. unopened. Yeah. And it's absolutely um, uh, as good fresh nutritionally as the day it was flash frozen. Yep. And that's very fast. It's yeah. very fast. They get them within hours. Right. I need a fork to taste later. Oh yeah, man, that 
that uh, that third or what do they call that extra burner? It's not a Bunsen burner. A fifth burner fifth is what burner. I always call it because usually your stove comes with four. Right. So. Yeah, homesteading housewife. The how the ham slice dices are less. They are. Yes. You're correct. Yeah. You but the majority correct. is 25 years um, for the for the items. Right now, show them what it looks like okay. now, because I'll I'll warn you. It looks weird right now, but when it is cooked up, it's yep. going to look amazing. Yeah, it's starting to thicken up. You know, the egg in there um, has absorbed the liquid. Now the veggies are starting to, you know, absorb the, the liquid, the water. And so we're just, I just stir it every once in a while, make sure all the veggies are down in that water. Yep. And again, it takes a little bit of getting used to, to cook with this, mm -hmm. but it's, the learning curve is very small. Very it's small. It's very small. A few tips that we've learned is, like she said, when we're dealing with meats, for whatever reason, warm water seems to work mm -hmm. better. Yep. Now, maybe that's just because of our, you know, where we're at, longitude, latitude, and, you know, altitude. I don't know. Yeah. But the fruits seem to work better with cold water. Yes. The fruits Very and the cold. veggies. Uh, veggies could go either way, warm or cold, doesn't matter. But fruits, definitely cold. Mm -hmm. Meats, definitely. I try and use as hot a water as I can get out of my sink. So. Um, when might, when <laughs> might you be making diet soup? I know Krista, uh, will got, will get better than others. Actually, I was the one that made the diet soup, mm -hmm. the cabbage soup. Yeah. Um, and right now I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling the cabbage no. soup. No. It, it was, it was rough. I only, I could only do it for three days. Yeah. It's, um. It was just like, you felt full, but you're technically, I guess, starving yeah. yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's mostly cabbage and stuff that just goes right through you. More butter. So I'll probably make it sometime soon, but yeah. who knows? Actually, I had a wild burr. I, I wanted to change the script on Mama today. He did. I wouldn't let him. Because I really, I saw some videos of uh, local, there's a local farm that actually has a, they, they do pizzas. They do, you come and you hang out at the farm, you bring your chairs and and you bring your family, and then you order, and they've got, um, what are they, the, the, the pizza Brick ovens, oven pizza. the, yeah. the wood-fired pizza ovens, and I just was like, man, I want pizza, because mm -hmm. we make a killer pizza mm -hmm. from scratch, so maybe, you know what, next week, maybe we should make our pizza from scratch. We can do that. Yeah. We can do that. Co show them the dough yep. and everything, even the sauce. Yep. Yeah. All right, this is good. We're ready? think so okay let's take a look is it still hot over there it should be yeah. sizzling yeah it is all right okay here we go all right so now I'm, I'm all i'm gonna do is pour this in here like you would scrambled eggs look at those peppers in there guys and that's not a hot pepper no it's a bell it's a sweet bell pepper yep all right Oh, she's doing she's doing the diet. Thanks, guys. I'm on my third day, and it sure needs Krista's touch. Yeah, oh. you know, and that's the thing. That soup, I I love soups. I really mm -hmm. do love soups. But it it just, I couldn't do it after that third day. I was like, I cannot have another bite of this. I'd actually rather not eat at all. Yeah. So let's see how that's going. Pizza and cinnamon buns to wash it down. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's Fab Four, girl. I think we're going to do the pizza from scratch next week. Yeah, let that just I do I almost think thing. there's too many, vet, too, more, too, too many veggies versus egg in this Well, mix. you can always cook it up and but, add more egg. True. I just let it do its thing. Yeah. Just moving it around. So, what kind of pizza should we make? Thick crust or thin crust? What do well, you guys think? We always guys? make thin. We can do both. Yeah. It just, it, depending on the amount of dough that you use, you can use uh, less dough to make thin crust and then uh, more dough for thick crust. I personally like the thin crust. Yeah. Actually, I mean, I love Chicago style pizza. Mm -hmm. I love New York style pizza. Mm -hmm. I love all kinds of different, but um, the, uh, the thick crust where you put it in a pan, with some oil under there, that is really great. But Oh, yeah, and like a cake pan, yeah. yeah, or even cast iron. You could. That would probably taste better. Yeah, absolutely could. There we go. 
Look at that. It's coming together, guys. Oh, Rosa says thick crust. <laughs> I love making breakfast pizza. Oh, that's a good idea. It's an idea. Mm -hmm. Now, here's another idea. This is one little spinoff that I, that I came up with that the kids really love. I mean, we have quesadillas from time to time with the refried beans, cheese, and onions and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but we also will make Mexican, or not Mexican, but Italian quesadillas. Where instead of using the refried beans, we use sauce and mozzarella. And you make it kind of like a pizza. Yeah. And that way you just put it in the, uh, the pan just like that. But check this out. It's coming together, folks. The filling. You know, I'll be honest. It doesn't look appetizing from the picture. It smells ridiculously good. I know, because that <laughs> camera is not a very good camera. No, it's not. It's not doing it justice. No. But it smells all those onions and peppers. Oh, so good. Yep. Yeah, that does smell good. Mm -hmm. You know, you could do you could do it separate. You could. Um, Rehydrate the egg and the water and the, the veggies and meat separately, and you could saute the veggies in some butter before mm -hmm. adding the egg. That you might could. be really good, too. That you is could. if you don't put it in a jar. Steve is saying cauliflower crust pizza. I've seen that. That just doesn't appeal to me, man. And Dude, I, like I thought cauliflower. we were friends. No. <laughs> I thought we were friends, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, and I even like cauliflower, but you can't mess with pizza. No. You know, pizza's got to be pizza. It's funny because there's a chain restaurant of pizza in, in Cincinnati that a lot of people just love it. They It's called La, Rose. La Rosa's. And I just couldn't get used to the sweet sauce. Mm -mm. It was like too sweet. Yeah. And um, Didn't care for their crust. Yeah. So I, I dubbed it utility food instead of pizza. Yeah. A lot of people call us pizza snobs. We are. Yeah. We're pretty particular about our pizza. We are. And bread. That is true. <laughs> I think this is about done. That smells divine, Mama. Yeah. Of course, I'm on a soup diet right now. I had a tooth pulled. Uh-oh. Is that going to mess up this? It, it just did. did. Oh, shoot. I think that happened Whoever's last time. Whoever's calling right now, shame on you. Claire, where are you at? Who's calling? Hopefully it's not Jonathan. Quick, quick, quick. Who is it? It's an unknown number. Okay. Okay. I don't know if it's going to... Oh, it did it sideways. Oh, shoot. Okay, you got to take it out. Turn it... Turn it straight. And now put it sideways. Sorry, guys. There we go. It's working now. Okay. Technical difficulties, people. Now, can you put it on airplane mode? No. Just leave it. Okay. Sorry about that, kids. Technical difficulties. Okay, this is done. Let's see. Ooh, that smells really good. Yeah. Actually, here, let's go to the close cam. There you have it. Time for assembly. Yep. How do you want to do that? I'm going to put it over here so it doesn't keep cooking. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, another easy thing. Um, we're going to go ahead and put our cheese down onto our tortilla. No, that's probably a little too much. Oh, oh no, wait, there's never about? enough cheese. Never enough cheese. We live in Wisconsin, for crying out loud. Red Devil Raspberry, do we have a calf yet? No. No, not quite. We actually were out there just a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. Actually, we were planning on going on going live at 2 o'clock. However, we've got to go pick up baby chickens. Yes. And so schedule got changed. Here, Claire, you want to be the guinea pig? <laughs> she loves these things. There you want here, we... Here, you want a fork, babe? You can just eat some of the. Oh, the well, egg. I, I, I don't know. I'll wait. Okay. I'm it's hard to, for him to eat. Here, sweetie. Because I just, they, well, what happened was I was supposed to have a tooth pulled, but then it became surgery. surgery. Mm -hmm. Because it didn't. Hey there, hooded victim. What are you doing? Need salt. Need salt? Need salt. Hit it with a little salt. Mm -hmm. Alicia says she does not care for cauliflower pizza crust. What? I've never well, had, it. had it. I've never had it, so I can't say either way. Yeah. I, oh, it's just kid? the idea of it. What do you think? Yeah? Need salt. Need yeah. Salt. Here, you want me to put some on there? Okay, fine. 
All righty. Yeah. Okay. So that's done. Now you can you can put them in the burritos, roll them up, and then wrap them up in um, saran wrap, plastic wrap, whatever you like. You can use foil, um, and then you can throw them in the oven or throw them in the microwave, not with foil or plastic on. But that's our that's our breakfast burritos. That's now, how you do it. That's how you do that. Now we're going to go ahead and make it with um, our farm fresh ingredients. What do you want to do with that? You want to set it aside for yeah, now? Yeah, set it aside. We can assemble it later. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I am from Cincinnati. What are your thoughts on Skyline Chili? Okay, grower, prepper. I will give you my thoughts on Skyline Chili. Okay, I like it. Most of it. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the chili part. Which is all of it. Right. I, I will eat it, but I won't make, I won't go out of my way to get it. Okay, let me just say that this, a long time ago when we were youths, when we were youths. teenagers in Florida, Skyline tried to open a, a franchise down there <laughs> in Bradenton, Florida, and it didn't last six months no. because people didn't understand that what it is. They're like, what is this? It's not spaghetti. It's not chili. And you no. put the chili and the spaghetti on it, and now you're calling it they didn't understand yeah. it. So if you don't know what Skyline is, guys, it's kind of a Cincinnati thing. And uh, the Skyline chili is spaghetti noodles. And then they have a chili, which doesn't taste like like a Texas-style chili. doesn't taste like that at all. There's actually a bunch of ingredients, including even chocolate in it. Um, and then you, you get that with, like, beans. And you get that with, like, onions and uh, this really finely shredded cheese and there's a lot of it yep and the way that i i just skyline is delicious if you just don't think of it as chili mm -hmm. yep that's my thought because it's really not chili but it's really not spaghetti it's really good and one thing that's cool about it though is it's super fast yes they it, have everything already fast. made you get down you, you sit down and you've got your food within five minutes mm -hmm. all right now i'm going to use our um pork that we raised and our eggs that we um sorry i actually need that well we'll put it here they can't see phoebe sounds kind of gross it's not it's, it's really not really good it's, it's really not it's just if you th you can't think of it as one or the other you got to think right. of it as something new right yeah there is cinnamon in that chili there yes. is mm -hmm. yep there is cinnamon not a ton of cinnamon you can't taste it it's just there for it's there. seasoning, you it's know. It's there. Yeah. Sizzle, sizzle. Right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cook up my sausage here. And this is just one pound of breakfast sausage. Um, I don't, do we, I think we got ours, ours seasoned. No, it's not. It's not. No, okay. we have to season it. That's right. I forgot. I always forget because we don't use it that terribly often. You know what, in, in all honesty, too, going back, people are talking about the Skyline thing. Mm -hmm. What we do is we pressure can our Texas-style chili. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, Texas-style chili. That's how we eat it, and we mm -hmm. call it Skyline, even though it's not Skyline. Right. We'll put it over the spaghetti noodles, and it's great. You put cheese on top. Right. Done. Awesome. Yeah, it's, I like it doing, I like having our chili that way because it's not so much chili. Um, it kind of, it kind of... Not thins it out, but I guess it does thin it out a little bit, so it's not mm. so heavy in your stomach. I, yeah, I think my opinion may be a little bit different. Probably. It's just that I, I love chili, but, and there's so many different kinds of chili. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of, like, those chicken white things that they call chili. That's it's not really not chili, chili in that's my soup. mind. It's something else. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's I don't, I don't care for that either. But no, that, that pork right there, yeah, that's going to need salt, pepper, and pepper flakes. Yep. But that came from our piggy. Um, that specific piggy was very naughty. Mm -hmm. Very naughty indeed. Yep. They got too big. Yep. And because they got too big, we let them get too big, they were a bear to load into the truck yep. to take them to uh, processing. Yes. So I just added maybe a half a, that's probably like a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper flakes. What do you got going in salt? Just wise? a little, just a, you know, a couple of small pinches. I don't add a ton of salt. 
You're going to want probably some garlic powder, you think? I can do that. A little pepper. A little yeah. pepper. Not a ton, because there's already some spice in there. Jean, she's a fan of the Skyline uh, chili. Yeah. And one thing that I did like about Skyline, the menu, um, they had conies on there. Cheese oh, conies. Oh, the conies were really good. Now, they're, they're, they're not as big as a, a full-blown hot dog, but they're a little hot dog. Mm-hmm. And then you get your, you can put chili on them or whatever. But the cheese, that that super finely ground cheese, is just great. Shredded, not ground. Oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> We're looking at ground pork. <laughs> Steve, Gun Steve is saying, white chili, white chicken chili is an atrocity. <laughs> I, I wouldn't call it an atrocity. I just wouldn't call it chili. <laughs> no, it's not chili. All right, now while that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and crack our eggs into our bowl. Yes, freezer camp, yeah, when you're bad. Mm -hmm. The piggies we have right now are a different breed than we've ever raised. Yes. They're called American guinea hogs. Yes. They're super docile and they, they just kind of hang out. They don't really do anything. No. Hi, Mary Beth. I decided to use a shorter bowl. The other one was too big. How long will the burritos last in the freezer? Oh, months. Months. But not for us, though. Not for us. <laughs> I mean, get eaten. The, usually when I make them, I make them, you know, six or seven dozen at a time. Yeah. Um, so they'll, they'll last a really long time. Now, I know I, I beat the dead horse with this one. Always, always, always crack your egg into a separate bowl so it doesn't ruin your whole batch. That is a, a, it's a... Pet peeve. It is a pet peeve because you never know what, even if you buy eggs from the store, you never know what's going to happen, what's in that egg. You have some <laughs> rotten egg by chance or... No, I'm just laughing. Two things. Uh, Jean lived near You're Touchdown, Touchdown Jesus. Jesus. Now, if you guys don't know what Touchdown Jesus is, Google it. There's a church there that has this humongous torso. It's north of Middletown. Of Jesus. Yeah. But it looks like he's giving you the touchdown, like, mm -hmm. hey, you scored. And yep. other people call it Big Butter Jesus. Because mm -hmm. it looks like it was, it was smeared with butter all over it. But it was also that color of butter. Mm -hmm. And it was very strange. But actually, Gene, I don't know if you know this. But when we were there three and a half years ago ish, no, not that long. No lightning hit it. Yeah, I guess and it, it was melted that long. it. Yep. It melted it down completely. Caught it on fire. And then they put one up that looks a little less strange. It still looks strange. <laughs> it does look strange. Have this big humongous it's near the um, what's that flea market called? Oh yeah, the Oh shoot, that flea market's huge. Not Red Barn, because that was in Bradenton. Not all the animals. Yeah. The fake animals. The giraffes and, oh, what was it called? I don't remember. I don't either. Something else that the bowl, the separate bowl catches are eggshells. Yep. Big butter Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's really funny to search. Well, and the guy that, the guy that um, owns that flea market and that big farm all around there, mm -hmm. he's the one that paid for that. Mm -hmm. He paid for, I think he paid for the majority of the church yeah, too. Yeah, he did. Let's see. Trader's World. Sandra, That's it. Sandra's got it. That's it. Yep. And then there's that, right next to it is that um, that casino. Yeah. I wonder if you paid for that too. I don't no, know. I doubt that. Grower Prepper, it, Jungle Gems is not near there. No. That's in, um, there's one in Fair, oh, that was really dumb. You just threw an eggshell in there. I did. <laughs> uh, tra there, Trader, no, Jungle Gems is, there's one in Fairfield and then there's one... On the east, east side. East Gate. It's a brand new one. No, the one in Fairfield. Oh, yeah, no, that's the older one. East yeah. Gate is the newer one. Yeah, right. Yep. you're right. East if, Gate is a bigger one. I'll say to you guys, if you've ever had the opportunity to go to Jungle Gyms, it is an experience. It's not just a store. No. They have, just to give you an idea, the store is massive. I would honestly say that it's got to be five acres indoors. Yeah. And it's all food. Yeah. Um. The, the the hot sauce, Steve, the hot sauce area, and I'm saying area because it's not an aisle, I would honestly say that it would probably be 
six full 80 foot aisles. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. They have hot sauces behind glass because they're hundreds mm -hmm. of dollars. They've got a naughty hot sauce area that we yeah, won't talk about. They have expensive hot sauces that are kept behind a locked cabinet. Yeah. Um, don't they grow all their fish there? No, but I they do they grow did. fish there. Not thought, all of them. Okay, I, I knew they grew a lot of fish there. Like yeah. they in the back of the store, they'll have... They have all of their, the, like tilapia and perch and. They grow fish, lot, but yeah. not all of them. Okay. Yeah. All right, this is done. Let's take a look um, at that. How do you want to do this, baby? I'll put it in here. There's the sausage. Yes, you got to taste it and make sure it's not poisoned. Okay. Hopefully I don't burn myself. See if it needs anything or if it's yummy. Oh, mm, perfect. Is it good? Mm, uh-huh. Good. Nice and soft too, honey, if you want one. <coughs> a little spice. A little spicy? A little spicy. Good. Spicy. Okay. And people would would argue that you should strain that off. No. Nope. The flavors in the fat, people. You know. And there's not a lot of the it. The one thing I don't like about cast iron, it's so freaking heavy <laughs> well that's kind of part it's, of the idea i know it's just so <laughs> it's hard to use all right i'm gonna set that off to the side for a second turn this off i'm gonna go ahead and whisk our eggs here it is foodie palooza phoebe yeah it totally is i mean okay i have an unhealthy addiction to candy i love fruity candy i love chocolatey candy it just depends on your mood, and I've been good lately. I have not, yes, honestly, have I've not had candy in quite a while, because I honestly think I have a sugar addiction. Yeah. Um, but I love, they have a wall of gumballs. Like, you know at the health food stores where you get the scoops and all the stuff, and you got, oh, I want flaxseed, and you scoop it out and put it in your bag? I they must flaxseed's have, good for you, but... I don't know. They must honestly have like 30 or 40 different gumballs in like kinds of them. And the last time we were there, I I filled a bag this big, like bigger than a two basketball. Didn't you fill two of them out? Yeah, one? because because you never get to go there for that sort of thing. Nope. So it was just really funny when you check out and I go up to the checkout and I go, Push, with these big old bags of <laughs> right. gumballs. Yeah, Steve, sounds like my kind of store. You are right, man. They they have aisles for just about every country you can think of. Even like African countries, they're like, you know, they'll have a whole long aisle of Israeli stuff or Pakistani stuff. Or they even had like live quail eggs. Mm -hmm. It's nuts, the stuff they have. You know what? I'm not going to use these because we're going to add these, remember? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to use these. So I'm not going to add. I will use the onions, yeah. but not the chili peppers. Mama's, Mama's modifying the recipe right now. And it's a good thing because this was a good idea. It's, it's all in whatever you want, honestly. These are Mexican style those. stewed tomatoes in juice. So okay. that'll give a little bit of heat. Right. Yep. Now, I'm not going to add these yet because I want to add them after I cook the eggs. But I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of handfuls of onions. Did you see straight, how fast she chopped those onions? Straight to the eggs. Did you see how fast she chopped I'm those onions? I'm just wicked fast. My boy's wicked smart. Yeah. All right. I have a cast iron skillet that's big enough to fit over four burners. Holy wow. Oh, my. Okay. That was that was amazing how fast you I know. chopped that onion, Mama. I know, right? All right. I'm going to go ahead and add some salt to this. A little salt, little pepper. A little salt, little pepper. Yep. Turn this burner back Love on. Love the onions. Yeah. Well, and you know, the thing is, for, for those of you who may be interested in Thrive Life, I know there's a lot of folks who, as, as you kind of get a little bit older, it hurts. Mm -hmm. You might have pain in your hands, so a lot of people stop cooking the things they love. Mm -hmm. Well, this this fixes that for a lot of folks because yep. you just go scoop, done. Whisk. 
You've whisked me off my feet. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. So I've got grease in here from the pork, but not a lot. It There's good, by the, the way. our pork, <laughs> you know, as as big as they were, they didn't have a lot of fat in the in the sausage. You gotta add a little butter. Gotta add some butter. All right. Now this is how I normally cook. I don't measure anything. That's funny because you were griping it. Because I bed. had to follow a recipe <laughs> that I never have made before. But when I did this, I measured. But when I cook like this, I eyeball it. I don't measure. It's taken me a long time to get there. Okay. And I used, it wasn't a full 18 eggs. I think there was uh, 15 in here. There we go. Cook, cook, cook. I get frozen chopped onions. That's interesting, Ruth. I have seen that. I've seen those. Um, I don't know how well they retain their flavor. Donna, I make honey caramel, honey cream cheese, and vanilla, and add cocoa and almond flour. Yum. Donna, if you want to send some of that to us, I would gladly say thank you. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Have you made this with ground turkey versus sausage? We have not just because we don't care for the, the taste as much, but you but could absolutely do that. You can make it with whatever meat you prefer. Could be ground beef if you could want. Could be ground beef, could be ground chicken, could, be, could be ground turkey. You could eat, you can leave the meat out altogether. We have used um, leftover ham from like dinners, yes, like honey ham. baked. We've used kielbasa as well. That's nice. That's really nice. So That's we've nice. used the beef kielbasa. Whenever we make kiel, or whenever we have kielbasa, we always buy the beef. We really like the way the beef flavored kielbasa tastes. Yes. Over the the ground turkey and chicken. Turkey, no, it's chicken and pork. Yeah, but we just prefer the beef one. Right. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open up these tomatoes. Yeah. And I'm going to strain them. Yes. Grater's ice cream is great too. That's one of the food I miss about Cincinnati. Yeah, Grater's yes. is good, but I will say this. Up here, there's ice cream that, uh, it's Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. So the the ice cream aisle at the store that Claire works at is massive. Mm -hmm. How big would you say you think the freezer section just for the um, ice cream? Oh, it's a whole, it's a whole long section, feet, probably easily. 50 feet, yeah. Easily. Yeah. Just ice creams. Yeah. Bacon and ham. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can do bacon. You can do sausage. You, you Honestly, it's you can make these with however however you want. But since there's egg is the main kind of ingredient, it's a cheaper it's a cheaper meal. Right. Ruth says the onions taste great. Yeah. And I agree okay, with good. you. No, she said those. She gets the frozen ones. Oh, cool. Cool. Let's see. Hello, everyone. Hi, Southern Prairie Homestead. Oops, threw my towel on. Oh, the I floor. love tomatoes. Tomatoes are just so nice. So nice. You want to strain these? Can, yeah, I'm going to. Can I have the flat wooden spatula, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I'll strain. Okay. We're going to have to smash those up a little bit, too. I can do that. I can do these. I can do this. Yeah, I use, I'll just use my hands. Crush them up that way. I crushed you. Crushed your heads. Let me show you what's going on. Give you the close up here. You know, I haven't had. Uh, Jean Marie says um, they have the custard. Wisconsin has amazing custard. Oh, yeah. Cops custard. Uh, my mom used to work at Cops yep. Custard in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. Actually, for mom and pop cop. Mm -hmm. Hey, Michelle. The reason why we're, we jumped on early is we're actually picking up 60 chicks today. Yeah. Uh, and they're they're already there. Waiting for them, yeah. Yeah, they're there waiting for us, so we didn't want them to have to stay in uh, packaging mm -hmm. as long, you know, as long as, yeah. short as we can. All right, so I got out the majority of the liquid here. Autumn is asking, is any of the Thrive meat kosher? I've not looked. I don't. I don't think it's labeled as kosher. I don't believe it's labeled no. as kosher either, but I that's one thing that if you want to email me, I'll send you a, a list of all of the ingredients 
It's even where their countries are from, mm -hmm. allergies. Uh, it has everything. So yeah. it would probably have the kosher uh, designation on there. I just don't know. Right. The vegetables and stuff are probably kosher. Well. <laughs> I know. I'm being <laughs> silly. Okay. What do you think? All right. That's looking good. That's a big piece. Let me tear that apart. The banner over your head says the Thrive Life sale ended for twenty nine nineteen. Oh, you got to change that. Well, the banner. Yeah, the banner. Yeah, no, it did. It did end. I haven't changed the banner. Sorry, yeah. guys. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, it ended on Monday. Man, we got some good deals off of that. Oh yeah. We did. Yeah. The frozen onions still taste good three to six months, because my mom forgot she had some. There you go. Oh, there you go. All right. I think that oh, there's another big piece. It's the ends are a little tougher. Yeah, that's all right. We probably should have gone with diced. Well, that's I picked out plain diced ones, and and you thought no, the Mexican style ones would be better. Because they got okay. some, they got some zing in there, a little bit of jalapeno. But here, I didn't realize here. they were big pieces here. either. How are we doing over here on Eggland? Looks like we can use a stir. Yep. Yeah, that's the thing with making them um, uh, in a lot at one time is you have to have, uh, it takes a longer time to cook them. Of course, to Brad now, I've already burned them, so. Hey, no. <laughs> Steve, that is, that's partially, it is, it is about how the food is prepared. Um, in terms of how the animals dispatched the facility, there's a lot right. that goes into it. There is a lot, there's and you have to have a, a rabbi there to, yes, you to have certify. Have a rabbi there. Right. So it, it does take I'm a lot. I'm guessing it's not going to be certified. Kosher, I would but, imagine it's not. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, Nathan's hot dogs are amazing. Yeah. They are. And Hebrew they National, make me burp. even better. And why? What is, what is in it that makes me burp? Hebrew National? Yeah. And and uh, Nathan's. Nathan's. Yeah. I don't know. All right. We're getting there. Mm -hmm. Yes, those are eggs, Savvy Cat. Yes, these are the eggs that our ladies hatched. Not hatched. <laughs> laid. Laid <laughs> for us. Yeah, that would be kind of weird if you were cooking up hatched eggs. That would be gross. <laughs> well, hatched eggs would be chicken. Yes, they would. <laughs> Yes, they would, indeed. So, questions while Mama's stirring and stirring and stirring her brew. Yeah. Anybody? Anybody? Let's see. Mm hmm All right. These are almost done. Almost done. Still a little bit runny. I have to have, for me, I have to have them completely dry. Well, keep them going, baby. Yeah. Keep them going. And I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of scrambled eggs because of the texture, unless it's mixed with something else, a bunch of other things. Then I will eat it like sausage, bacon, you know, whatever. If it's mixed up like in a burrito, I'll eat them. I could see you sneaking in some spinach too. No way, Gene. No, I no won't way. do that. No. Or green beans or green peas. No, I won't do that. And I won't actually even put mushrooms in this because the majority of the kids don't, and Brad, don't like them. Yeah. And you know what the, the funny thing is? I actually like the flavor of mushroom, but it's just, I, it's a texture thing, I guess. Yeah. Well, I'm, like with me, with the, the eggs, it's a texture thing. It's, I don't like the, the feel of them. Oh, my fiance and I do this. You guys inspired us from your older video. Oh, good. That's very cool. Good, Thank good, you for good. I'm that. glad. Off topic. What is the best chicken when starting out for just eggs? I would say Buff Orpingtons for starting out. Could do out. that. Yeah, for starting out. Yeah, they're nice. They're a really nice bird. They're um, kind. They don't come after you. They're really docile. And they'll let you hold them. You right. Can, it's, they're pets that make your dinner. Right, right. Buff Orpingtons, Bard Rocks, those are uh, the Bard Plymouth Rocks, I'm sorry, are really good. The the White Leggerns are a little more skittish. Those are the ones that lay the white eggs. Um, 
Yeah, they're not as fun if you if you want to actually hang out with the animal. No, no. Um, our the ones we have are Isa Browns, and they are. Um, They've been okay. They're a high production oh, egg. They're super prolific, you're right. Yes, they give us over 300 eggs a year. Each. Each bird. Yep. So do the math. We have 22, or 20 of those. And then we have two white leggerns. Oh, that's pretty cool. Big family, tiny living. Love your bread recipes. They've saved us a lot of money. Oh, that's good. Awesome. I'm so glad. That is really awesome. Thank you for sharing that. I will tell you, last week... I made the hamburger rolls into loaves, loaves mm, for mm. bread. Awesome. So if you want that recipe, that was on the last one, or if you have the cookbook, it's in the cookbook for the hamburger rolls. Yep. That was, it made such a really, I think that's going to be my go-to for sandwich bread now. You think you should put the tomatoes in there now just because they're a little liquidy? Might I'm going to put this in there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In you go. hot. Eggy, eggy, eggy. Oh boy. I have to taste it to make Hot and heavy. <laughs> yum. Pan is heavy. Yum, yum, yum. That's our square one, the square cast iron that we got from uh, Brian Hendershot. Yeah. It was a gift from it was a, a gift. From a subscriber. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and throw in, so I've got our tomatoes, which are the Mexican style stewed tomatoes. Um, our scrambled eggs with onions in them, and then our sausage. Yeah. And once again, you can put in whatever you want to put in for your filling. Mm -hmm. Right. If you wanted to use salsa instead of this, that would be a good thing too. Yep. Um, if you're just... into cilantro, oh, I yeah. know a lot of people don't like it because they say that it tastes like uh, soap. Mm. Oh, but yeah. It's about half, believe mm -hmm. it or not. It's right down the yeah. middle of the population. Yep, look at that. That, that liquid that gets is absorbed really into the... That is good. And that'll keep them nice and moist for when mm -hmm. you reheat them, too. Yep. Yep. Okay. Now, all, we gonna, all we're going to do is put these into um, some tortillas. Careful of that, Yep. Mama. I don't want you to forget that it was just on... No, I, yeah, I know. I'm not messing with it. No, I just, it'd be easy to try to set something over there. No, I, you know. yeah, yeah. Okay, let me get rid of some mess here. Okay. Let's move some thangs. Thang moving. Claire, you want another tortilla? <laughs> I think she went upstairs. No, she's over there. Let Aren't you? See. Claire, you over there? You want another one? She hadn't eaten lunch. Are you working today? Yeah. You could take one for dinner if you wanted. You could take some for dinner. If you wanted. Yeah. Salsa's a great idea. Yep. Yep. Salsa. And, and really, it's it's all in what you like. You know, you could use some leftover uh, steak or chicken that oh, you had. Shred it up nice. Shred it up. You know, yeah. chop it up really nicely. and. Steve made a comment earlier about uh, smoking a, a pork butt, and that would be really good. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, yeah. Looky there, let's go close cam. Bang, zoom. Done and done. Done and done. See, I okay. would put a bunch of uh, some kind of a hot sauce on there, is what I would oh, do. Of course, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Now, all I'm going to do with these is um, very carefully that looks fold like a in. Bit of Full, nope, it's fine. Good? I'm going to fold in the sides, flip over one end, tuck and roll. <laughs> and then you have a breakfast burrito. Yep. Yeah. You're welcome. You want to show them how you wrap them? Because you wrap them tightly. Oh, with the plastic? Yeah. yeah. I can do that. Yeah, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I got to find. I, I got to reach. Can I reach? Uh oh, uh, you're there. That's as far as you can go. Uh. Claire. Oh, you're pulling the mixer. I got it. <laughs> All right. All righty. Blam. <laughs> Not yet. All right. I'll take two, please, says Della. All righty, we can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and lay some plastic down. Don't Thank you, Robert. Me. Robert says he's a new fan. Enjoy oh, the video. Oh, I'm so glad. We appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to put... 
The cheese. Some cheese down. Actually, I'm going to have to turn it, but that's okay. Put, Put the filling. I have stuff down. Yeah, and what that has right now, you've got eggs, you've sausage, got sausage tomatoes. onions, tomatoes, tomatoes and cheese. Mm -hmm. Yep, I need a little bit more. Oh no, it's good. It's perfect. Oop. Gotta run away. Okay. Again, fold in the sides. Fold Flip. this over one side, tuck it in, and then roll it over. Put it in the center of your plastic, and then take the plastic over and just wrap it snug. And again, you can do this with foil if you have a thing about plastic. Um, but these freeze nice. That's these, why I wanted to these, have you show yeah, them. These freeze really nicely, just like this. We make up a bunch and we stick them in a, a large Ziploc bag. Um, and then we leave them in the Ziploc bag in the freezer. And uh, the kids will take one out. They take the plastic off. They'll put it on a, on a cookie sheet and stick it in the oven. And it takes about a half an hour start to finish, you know, when it's frozen. Sometimes if we're in a hurry, they'll throw it in the microwave and then stick it in the oven just to crisp up the tortilla. Uh, Phoebe's asking yes. what, what kind of tortillas those are. Oh, these are the ones from Aldi. These are the Pueblo Lindo, but we get these from Aldi. They're flour tortillas. Yeah, just it's just a flour tortilla. Um, we don't, I don't, I, you like the corn tortillas, but for this, the like flour both. tortillas work really, really well. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, I think that's it. That's it. That's it, guys. That's that's the video for today. Mm -hmm. um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and all that jazz. We yep. really do appreciate it. Um, I think that's it. We got to go yeah. get chickens. Yeah. But we got to make good. some tortillas first. Yeah. All right. So you guys have an amazing and blessed day. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. Let me see if I can go to. Let's go to the close cam. Goodbye, close cam. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye bye now.